Uh, yeah. Right? So go um, and uh, try to try to run your offense. So exactly, so. exactly. But I feel like in this game, everyone has to have a variety of characters because right. there's just so many matches to cover. One character can't play them all, you know. Yeah. Even Leo, he has his yeah. characters he switches off of. But, but um, uh, one character definitely try to play them all as much as they can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Obviously, some are going to be better than others. As we get right into this round, this round two of oh, the best. What in the, the world? Best. A Greninja and a Rob? This is like one of those matchups you see in uh, like Iceland. <laughs> like, it doesn't exist out here. A Rob and a oh, <laughs> what man. in the world? Oh man! But again, this is Fight Night, the best local. We got all. We have everywhere coming to play and see what's going on with us as we're getting right into this match. Greninja already taking quite the lead. Yeah, so actually, uh, what I like to explain to people, Greninja is sort of a uh, sheik with better kill moves. Really? Yeah, Greninja works the same, um, a lot of combos, okay. but Greninja does have a lot better options for killing. The only okay. thing is sheik has more flexibility in ah, her movement. So, so that's like the difference. So if you, exactly. Uh, so do you think a natural, like, progression so to speak so so essentially this is just like a heavier sheik yeah i i would say that i do think in the future um oh, at their peak oh, potential i do think that um sheik is a better right. character right. but well, greninja so is literally right next to sheik so it doesn't matter like a, if you need box type of yeah that's thing. exactly how i feel uh this character is wow. you know why we, why don't we see more representation from her? um it's one of those characters with, like, having the thing that puts her the edge like uh -huh. being that nerd it's one of those things that players just don't feel like putting the investment in the character because of risk reward ratio when there's other characters you can play that are just as good that require less effort like why play Sheik who's a combo character when you can play Palatina who's a combo character who has everything you know that that's a good way of thinking like some of it. those uh, play styles we were talking about before exactly uh, but I, I feel like with that being the case and with us having so many characters in the game I think if you are a Sheik player who is more aggro, mm -hmm. I feel like Sheik is someone who epitomizes, epitomizes the two play styles of aggro and whip. That yep, is her exactly. two things. She whip punish you during her aggro. She yep. switches between those two play styles primarily and still has the zoning potential to use things like Needle. And I yeah, think she's exactly. looking at characters as he collects that. Wow, Clear the three restart. Oh, like this man, I, I feel like this is one of those type of things Red where Candyman, this, is, this is probably me. someone who is a similar boat who primarily does aggro, but it's just mm -hmm. better at whiff than Sheik would. Yes, exactly. Because you can get those high damaging punches. Exactly. I really, I really feel like looking at all of the characters like that, especially these days, and you can yeah. open up a lot of it to yourself. You I can. Like we're, we're starting to limit ourselves a little bit too much with that, so to speak, you know? Yeah, and exactly. Obviously, picking the characters that work, you're picking characters that work based off other people that you saw, it worked for them. Yeah, exactly. And that's where the meta is created. And I feel like down the line, the meta is only going to progress where these characters are going to get better because people are going to slowly see their potential, especially it's when... They're going to get fleshed out, man. Yeah, exactly. They're going to get fleshed out. I think it was uh, the Toast. Yeah, there we go. Switching yeah, over I, to the Inkling. Actually, switching over oh, to the Greninja. I've never seen his Inkling, but both of these characters are good against Rob. The thing is, Rob is himself a really good character, but he's one of those characters... Whoa. Oh, wow. Actually, when thinking about it, I would personally put Rob in the section of zone and whip myself. Yeah, and I would too. Having aggro options with things like down tilt, but again, more primarily focusing on whiff and Can I get you yeah, on he, he's primarily he's focusing on whiff. He's one of those characters that um, he he's like a gatekeeper character. That's the best okay. way to put it. Where all the characters that suck against him just get utterly destroyed and then all the characters that are better than him just utterly destroy him and um he actually because of his jank like he could do he can down throw you side b side b or a uh, uh, fair fair side b and it kills you at really low percent um if you don't know that then you're in trouble so with things like that would you put that that of course player knowledge is a huge factor uh -huh. in all of this all of this this is uh this is why i like this uh the style of describing neutral because we're yeah. only describing the type of styles to play neutral mm -hmm. not exactly diving into the character specifics itself yes we're trying to cover it as a broad but with that being the case do you think that's part of the reason why rob is considered so strong in the whip play style and in the zone play style I, as well? yeah i do think that's one of the reasons why he has um there's some characters that can get whoa oh, wow he just fared him off stage. That is, 
how that happens. Wow. <laughs> you know, you really need to see it happen. <laughs> what like, in the world? <laughs> sometimes it just happens to him. That's a, that's a clean 2 -0. Yeah. Coming out from the side of Toasty. Uh, excellent work coming but, out uh, from the side of my man. Yeah, I do think there are characters that fit in multiple different categories, which is why they work better than others. Um, such as Joker. You can play him defensively. I don't know why you want to, but you can. You can, um, you can play him offensively, and you can whip punish. That's a can common trait of all seven? the top-tier characters. They right. can fit into multiple different roles. Right. I do think it's still good to have a counter pick, Rock but it's man. possible. Rock man versus Melon. 